of some very special guests this morning, and I'm really excited to have them. Uh, this morning, I have Mr. Baldwin and Larissa Chu. Uh, welcome, guys. Thank you hey, for having us. All right, now, I, the, I've heard about you guys coming in, and I'm really excited. Uh, Baldwin, you're known as Only One. That's right. You're a musician. That's right, hip-hop artist, beatboxer. <laughs> yep. I got I to gotta show off this. <laughs> uh, and, and Larissa, you are too. Yeah, I'm a singer-songwriter, and um, and so venturing into filmmaking, which is why we're in town, is kind of a new thing for us. <laughs> no, no doubt. Uh, how, all right, so, so you're from uh, L.A. Yes, from L.A. You're from San Francisco. Right, but now in L.A. And uh, now in L.A. Yes. Um, and you guys are in the Delta because a lot of basically searching for some family stuff led you here. Uh, only one, what, what happened? Yeah. Well, we, uh, we found Cleveland. <laughs> 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 and that's the name of our documentary, Finding Cleveland. And it was about our family search to uh, find out where my family came from. I never have a grandfather. And so... Uh, we, we started this journey, and instead of taking my family to the Far East into China, we found ourselves here in, uh, in Cleveland, Mississippi, in the Deep South. And, and so here's a little clip uh, yeah. of, of what you guys did. Um, uh, basically, you, so in your search, you guys ended up in Cleveland. It's probably the last place you thought you'd ever be. Yeah, no doubt. I had no idea that there was a huge Chinese population here in the Delta. I mean, I was an ignorant California, and I thought, you know, there's just people on New York and California, and I had no idea that there's this rich history here. And so I just felt compelled, like we needed to tell the story, um, not just for our own family, but I think for the world to, to see that this is part of our history. Now, when you guys got here, uh, I heard that Delta State, they have a Chinese museum. Heritage Museum, right. Mm -hmm. Was that a big help to you guys? Oh, absolutely. Um, Emily Jones, um, who, who works at the museum there and curates a lot of the, the artifacts, I mean, she was a huge help in connecting us to different people. And, and what the documentary is about is really the 48 hours we spent here um, just looking for a gravesite, which we thought, and all the things that we uncovered. And it was just kind of an amazing journey, and we really wanted to show that to, to people. And uh, we're so excited. We just came back from the Oxford Film Festival. And yes. We, we just brought won back best a little, uh, a little documentary, prize here. And this is our little award, the Hoka is, Award. Now, now, for those that don't know, Oxford Film Festival has really grown in recent years. It's a very big event and popular. Yes. And, and this is a very big award. Um, That's we, what we've been told. So it's yeah, not the Oscar. I know you're talking about the Oscars earlier. The Oscars yeah. coming out this Sunday, but not. We're yeah. happy with our Hoka. Yeah. A little more, more diversity in Oxford, too, than in L.A., apparently. Uh, can, let me, Bowen, can I ask you just real quick, um, what is it like personally for you? I mean, to, to see your history, I mean, to, to finally, after all those years, searching and not knowing and to discover that, how did that impact you? Yeah, it was a huge emotional thing for, for both me and my father. Um, being that I never had a grandfather, it was, it, it was revealing and it was, it was heart-wrenching and touching um, because I think throughout our past, we, we just felt like, I think me and my, my father thought that uh, maybe my grandfather abandoned us or my great-grandfather abandoned us. And the, the film really captures that, um, all the sacrifice that the Chinese community did, um, and especially my parents, you know, in this personal sense, my, my grandparents, my um, grandfather and great-grandfather, they really did out of sacrifice and out of love. And to, to finally know that, especially for my dad after 75 plus years, it was it was a huge emotional yeah, event. Yeah, he, he didn't grow up with his father. His father left China when he was one, and, and so uh, this was really, I think, a healing moment in his life. And there's and, and, and as you hear the story, and, I, and I've seen the trailer, I haven't seen it, but there's so much more to the story uh, when he leaves. Um, if people want to see the trailer or they want to find out more, uh, how can they do that? Um, well, we have a website, uh, official website, findingcleveland.com, and we have social media as well. And um, what, what people can do is, hopefully they'll come out to the, the screening at 2 p.m., um, right. At Delta State, and um, you know, just follow us and then follow our journey. We're planning on making a longer documentary, so um, you know, you can sign up on our email list and find out more. But one of one of the big things we want to finish off with this morning, this Sunday, people get a chance if they Definitely. want to come out to the Bologna Performing Arts Center in Cleveland. They can see it. Yes, two o'clock. Two o'clock. Come out at the free us. event. We'll show the screening. We'll do some music. It'll so they, they can see, and I, I got to say, I, your covers look awesome. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> you know, the, the, they're amazing. So if you get a chance, be sure it happens this this coming up uh, Sunday at two o'clock, and uh, we know it's going to be great. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks this for having well, us. Thanks for having us. All right, stay with us. We've got more coming up after the break.